In this lesson, we learn to construct a Raptor flowchart for computing the number of quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies that make up a given amount. So the input is an integer that represents the amount, and the output would be the number of quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. So the first step is to read the amount. So for that, we click input and create a symbol here in the flowchart and double click it and we will display the message. Enter the amount as an integer. And we give a variable name amount. We need to figure out the number of quarters needed to make up this amount. So for that, we need to put a symbol here where we will compute the number of quarters. So number of quarters would be computed in this variable called number of quarters. And it would be obtained by dividing the given amount by 25 and finding the largest integer that is not greater than the given amount. For example, if the given amount is 83 cents, then dividing 83 by 25 will yield 3.32 and so we will need 3 quarters. 3 is the largest integer that is not greater than 3.32. So we need to write the floor of amount divided by 25. As you might guess, the function floor computes the largest integer that is not greater than what is given here in parentheses. So we click done. So we have the number of quarters computed. What we need to do next is to figure out the amount that is not covered by quarters. That can be obtained by multiplying the number of quarters by 25 and subtracting that amount from the given amount. So what we are going to do is do some computation where we compute the remaining balance which is going to be stored in this variable balance. Balance would be the given amount less number of quarters times 25. So if uh, the given amount is 83, then number of quarters would be 3. 3 times 25 would be 75. So 83 less 75 would be 8. So balance would be 8. Now that we have figured out the number of quarters, we need to print it. But we should not print anything if number of quarters is zero. So we could ask a question, is number of quarters zero? So we go to this selection symbol here and put it over here. And what we have in the diamond here is a decision box. This is called a decision box. We can put a condition here. We can ask a question, which is a condition that would either be answered as yes or no. The question that we ask here is whether the number of quarters equals zero. If number of quarters is zero, we should do nothing. We should not print anything. But if it is not zero, for example, if number of quarters is three, we should print that value over here in this branch. So we put an output box in this branch and print the number of quarters. Followed by the word quarters. Next, we need to compute the number of dimes, which can be obtained from the current value of balance. 
So we put a box here to compute the number of dimes needed. So the number of dimes would be the floor of balance divided by 10. So this st step here is very similar to the step up here where we computed the number of quarters. For example, if balance is 17, floor of balance divided by 10 would be 1, so the number of dimes would be 1. After this, we need to compute the new ba value of balance, which is the amount that is to be covered through nickels and dimes. So the step would be somewhat similar to what we have here. So we need to have another assignment where we write balance is equal to balance less number of dimes times 10. Now that we have computed the number of dimes, it's time to print that value. So we need another decision box just as we had here for number of quarters equal to zero. So we put another decision box and ask the question if number of dimes equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, we do nothing. If it is not equal to zero, we print the number of dimes. So we put an output box here. We print number of dimes followed by the word dimes. Get down with that. It is now necessary to compute the number of nickels, which can be done in a step that is very similar to what we have here. So we put another symbol over here. We said number of nickels is set to floor of balance divided by five. We need to compute the new value of balance, which would be done as follows, balance would be set to balance less number of nickels times 5. Now we need to print the number of nickels, so we need yet another decision box. We put one here, ask the question, is number of nickels equal to zero? If it is equal to zero, we do nothing. Otherwise, we print the number of nickels So we need to now figure out the number of pennies. That could be easily computed by looking at the value of balance. Balance would be less than 5. So if whatever is left would be the number of pennies. So what we need to do is to check if balance is 0. If balance is 0, we need to do nothing. Otherwise, we need to print that value of balance as the number of pennies. And that ends the flowchart.